Hello everyone, Tayo here, Property Consultant and a Realtor. Today, I'm continuing the series of videos I'm doing on how to find the best land deals. In my first video, I said you must get the location right because location is very, very important. Whenever I, anything real estate, location is extremely important. And I mentioned that if you do not get the location right, you cannot, you cannot um, be said to have gotten a good deal, right? Now, the second thing that you must do is uh, research. You need to do a research to give you an idea of the price range of um, what you're looking for. And some of the places where you can do your research, you could use the internet. You know, you could go online, for example, let's say you're looking for farmland to buy, maybe in Epe town. You could go on internet and say farmland in Epe. I'm sure you will see a couple of options. Uh, and then you can, you can research further. For example, you could find, uh, let's say you have location A selling for 450,000 location B selling for maybe 300,000 or 400,000 so you want to go further with your research to understand why location A is cost a little bit more or less than location B what I have found from my own experience as a realtor in a lot of cases when you find land in about the same area and the prices vary sometimes a little bit and sometimes significantly for example you could find let's say a place like shongote the where there are places in shongote the where a plot could cost as high as 25 30 million and the same shongote that you find places where a plot costs maybe around 10 million naira. what i have found over time is you will discover that if you go physically to see what's on ground you will see that that's it there is a world of difference it is very likely and very possible that the one that is selling for maybe 30 million is probably in a developed neighborhood. It could be land within a gated estate. Why the one selling for 10 million naira could be land in, a, in an area that is yet to develop. We have part of Shangote though that is not developed yet, especially parts that are close to the beach. Uh, you, you just have a large expanse of undeveloped land, but you know, people are beginning to buy into those areas. So it doesn't stop with what is the price of land in Shongote? Because, for example, like I said, if you go online now and you Google price of land in Shongote, you'll find 10 million, you'll find 30 million. So the next thing to do is to do a, a, uh, a further research on the area and why one costs higher and one costs less. This is extremely important. Having a range, uh, having a price range for the kind of land you want to buy helps you to at least know what to expect let's say for example in the course of your research let's look at Equay for example now a lot of people are beginning to buy land in Equay and if you if you are doing a research on um, places to buy land in Equay you will see lots of locations you will see K2 you see quite Boca and so many places and then you'll find that land sells for some places 800,000 and some places as high as 5 million even uh, uh, you, for example, you have the Lagoon Front Estate, which falls within Ekwe right now, which is selling for 15 million naira. But normally, these three locations I just mentioned are in Ekwe. So if you do a research and you go and do your Google search, price of land in Ekwe, you find 800,000, you find 15 million. Then you want to research further. Why is this 15 million? Oh, it's this one is before the, it's before the. Um, the uh, Epe Junction and it's a waterfront property okay 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 I see now if that is what you want for example then you want to search for that can I find something that is close to this beachfront property that is not as expensive all right now you're beginning to uh, uh, see how you can get something close to uh, maybe the 50 million is something that's out of your budget but is it possible that I can still get something around there that costs less? If we go inside Ekwe Town, for example, you find a place like Poka in Ekwe, where land currently sells for about uh, 4.5 million. You know, in the same Poka, you have places where land sells for about 7 million naira. So, okay, well, okay, I have location A in Poka selling for uh, 4.5 and location B in Poka selling for 7 million. And then you check out the two locations, the, the differences are not so much. Okay, I think if I go for this one that costs for, that goes for 4.5 million, I think I have a good deal because even though maybe the one selling for 7 million, the infrastructure, maybe they've started doing infrastructure, they've started working on the road, and the one selling for 4.5 million, some of those things have not started yet. You know that eventually, this one selling for 4.5 million can catch up 
with that one currently selling for uh, 7.5 million. So these are some of the ways by which uh, you can you can get a good deal when it comes to buying land. So do your research, find out pricing, but go a little bit further with just the pricing to be to be sure of the location. Why does land in the same area? Why does one cost higher and one cost less? And which one fits into what I need to do? That's it um, for today. I'll bring you the, the third point uh, in my video on Monday. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. If you're watching on Facebook, on Instagram, please follow the page. Thank you very much and have a great weekend.